Hi, I am Jasmine Royce. I teach middle school math, eighth grade Bible, and I'm the director of STEM education here at ALCS. I love teaching math because it's actually a subject that I struggled with for a lot of my education. And I had a tutor for most of my years, but I had a really awesome teacher in high school that helped me see the bigger picture with concepts and she gave me a greater appreciation for math, which helped me ultimately be successful in it. I also teach eighth grade Bible, which is probably my favorite class if I had to choose one. And what I love about this class is that it's the class that I wish I had in middle school and even high school, where we learn to acknowledge our lenses and the ways or the filters in which we view the world and also approach the Bible so that we can remove them and read the Bible in the Bible's context and really get to the heart of God's word and God's message and God's intention in it. This year, I also teach a STEM class because we were not, we couldn't have our STEM club after school, which I would usually lead. And so every Wednesday, so exciting, we get in the computer lab and we work on 3D modeling. These are some of the projects that our kids have worked on, a little avatar and a game board piece. And they first draw their design in 2D, then draw it in 3D, which is a lot harder than you would probably think. And then they put it into Tinkercad and we print it on our 3D printer. We all know what the pandemic did to education last year. And while we really did try our best over online, you know, that was about two months of curriculum that we had to really sift and pick through to figure out what was most adaptable for this new online learning experience. And so because of that, I recognize that our students are coming from even greater varying places in their math understanding and concepts. And so my focus this year has been to go at the pace of the students, which sounds oversimplified, but it has been a practice of my pride and a practice of trusting in God's goodness to increase and multiply what we are getting through. And it's really amazing to see how much more students are soaking in simply by moving at their pace. With that said, my favorite projects in math are always the, the projects that have to do with budgeting and money. The projects where our eighth graders learn about the different types of loans and debt and how a credit card works is always fun. Where our sixth and seventh graders work with a part-time job, figuring out how much they can make a month and then factoring in hypothetically rent, groceries, the new Jordans they want. After every project, I have multiple kids saying, I'm just gonna live at home forever, so I apologize in advance. But it really is so fun to see them realize how things actually work and how math plays a really big part in setting ourselves up for fiscally responsible living. Obviously, this year has looked a lot different for everyone. But something that I really appreciate this year is that our students appreciate being here. And of course, everyone has their days where they would rather be at home, but it is really truly amazing and makes me a little bit emotional thinking about how grateful our students were to simply walk in the door, walk through the door on the first day of school and hearing them talk about how happy and joyful and glad they were to be out of the house and back in school. Every year, you know, I, I share with them stories about kids around the world who don't get education as a right and who have had to fight for school. And I think this year really shed an, an appreciation and it gave them an appreciation for what other kids go through. And so seeing our kids want to be here has made a huge difference, I think, in their receptivity and also in the energy that they give us as teachers and what we are therefore able to give back to them. So one of those bittersweet blessings of COVID, I think. With all of that being said, feel free to browse my Google site 
My contact information is on there. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, ideas, and I hope to meet you soon.